guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited about today's video. It's going to be a first impressions on some products that I've never used before, but I have used the brand in the past. So the brand is Garnier, um, and Brighton's PI was nice enough to sponsor these products so that I could try them out for you guys and let you know what I think. Um, my hair is actually naturally like a dark brown color and I dye it black from time to time. The last time I dyed it was probably about eight months ago. So Garnier gave me some hair dye to try out to see if I like it. This is the one that they gave me. The color is black and it's their nourishing color cream dye. In the past, I don't think I've used a cream dye before, so I'm kind of curious to see how this will work. And this one in particular has three nourishing oils in it, avocado, olive, and shea oils. So it's supposed to be much better for your hair. Um, and of course, it's a permanent color. Of course, if I'm gonna be dyeing my hair, I'm gonna need to switch my hair care products to color care products. So Garnier also gave me the Whole Blends Color Care Shampoo and Conditioner. I'm accustomed to using their Sleek and Shine Shampoo and Conditioner or their Moisture Lock shampoo and conditioner. So this would be the first time I'll be trying the whole blends. This one has argan oil and cranberry extract. So that's what it smells like. It really smells like cranberries and the argan oil is gonna be really good for my hair, particularly after it's dyed to help keep it soft and moisturized. Um, this shampoo and conditioner is also paraben free, which is always a good thing. I love how all of Garnier's products smell. Garnier actually also gave me the color care mask to try out. Um, I have wanted to try a hair mask for like the longest while, so I'm super excited about this. And uh, you guys need to smell this stuff. It's so amazing. So I will let you guys know how the mask um, works. This will be the first time I'll be using a mask after coloring my hair, so I'm hoping that like it really makes a difference because I use a lot of heat in my hair and I'm accustomed to like flat ironing. I, I'm kind of curious to see if this is going to help maintain the ends and keep them from feeling like dry and brittle. So really excited about the mask as well. You can get these in any pharmacy or in Pennywise here in Trinidad and they're all over the place that so they wouldn't be hard to find. So each bottle in the box is labeled the developer which is bottle A. You get 2.28 fluid ounces in this bottle so if you have thinner hair even if it's long I think one bottle will be able to work but I have really really thick hair so I got two boxes. You also get the color cream which is going to be B and then we have this little pouchy thing which is C this is the fruit oil concentrate remember I was telling you that this comes with avocado oil olive oil and shea oils to help nourish the hair so you are going to be pouring B which is the color and the C which is the oil into the developer which is A so like this oil is going straight in to help right away with keeping your hair healthy and soft and moisturized even though we're coloring it and then oh my god look at this how cute so this is bottle D and this is your conditioner so after you finish dyeing your hair they're gonna you're gonna use this nourishing conditioner which also has avocado oil olive oil and shea oils in it I'll let you know how this smells most of the time they smell really good and I appreciate that because I really don't like the smell of hair dye and I hate like my hair to smell like it after mm, this, oh, this reminds me of like a, a shampoo and conditioner that I already know um, what does it remind me of can't think of which one it is but smells really good so let's get on to actually coloring my hair. My hair is dirty right now, as you can see. So it's the perfect time to try and color it. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. Okay 
guys, so now the dye is all in. Um, the way we do it is we start from the top because the top, I want the product to stay in longer so that the color really catches because that's the part of my hair that everybody sees on a regular basis. And the instructions say to leave it in for 25 minutes if you already have color treated hair. While I wait for it to settle in, I'm going to take a cotton round with some rubbing alcohol and try and get rid of some of the excess dye that touched my skin before it settles in and stains my face. color care shampoo to get most of the dye out of my hair um, and I found that it really worked and then I used the conditioners that came with the dye just so that I would follow the instructions this time because I know that they give you those conditioners so you can use it right after you dye your hair to help lock in the color and to protect the hair and to make it soft and silky and I honestly found that it really did like while I was in the shower I found that my hair felt so soft and then as extra precaution I really wanted to try out the mask so I used the whole blends color protectant mask um, and I left it on for three minutes and then I washed it out and while any conditioning product is in my hair what I like to do is either run my hands through it or or use a brush and brush out all the knots and detangle it so it makes it easier when I go to dry my hair and then of course I just throw it up in a towel like this and I let it um, soak up as much as the water as I can and then I will take it down and just towel dry it a little bit more before I blow dry it I find that it's feeling pretty soft you guys like, I can still smell a little bit of the um, the dye, like that chemically dye smell, but it's not too bad because um, the way the cranberry smell of the shampoo and then the mask is pretty strong. So it's kind of smelling like that as well. So now we're going to do a little blow dry and then we're going to come back in style. Okay, so I just plugged in my flat iron um, and while it's getting hot, I'll just give you guys like a rundown. Now that it's dry uh, and I can really tell like what the true color is, um, it definitely is rich in color. It definitely is black. Um, I think it covered up all the light spots that I had that were peeking through um, because of the last set of dye that I used. Um, and I really like it. It's still really soft and when I was drying it, it wasn't as tangly and knotty as it usually gets. I think that was all the conditioning that I did and the ends feel really good. Like sometimes your ends can feel really processed because of the flat iron all the time and because you just put like box dye in your hair but the ends feel really soft. I'll let you know like after I put the flat iron in it if the ends still feel as soft. But so far, so good. I really liked it. The product was easy to use. I think it really worked really well. No complaints here. So um, now I'm gonna style my hair the way I usually do. after it's been styled I'm still find that it's really soft the ends feel a little bit dry but not too bad um, now that I flat ironed it um, so I'm going to add some oil to the ends to keep them nice and um, strong and healthy and I don't want to get any um, split ends but my overall first impressions of these products were that they were great I found that they worked well together the range is Perfect. I like that Garnier has like products for everybody for all different hair types um, for thick and thin for those who want anti-fizz for those who need color care for those who 
just looking to add moisture back into your hair there's so many options so you should really check them out the next time that you're in the pharmacy and the prices are pretty reasonable comment below if you've used these products if you use other Garnier products that you've liked also Garnier has a whole bunch of skincare products that I really want to try the Marcellar water is one that I want to try and they have some sheet masks that I'm interested in trying thumbs up this video if you liked it don't forget to comment share and I will see you guys in the next one Bye.